everybody. I'm doing a session for a client. If you're interested in checking out previous sessions with this client, be sure to check the description. I'll put links there. All right, I'm gonna read the goals and get started. I've actually attempted to do this introduction a few times and I keep getting jammed up in my throat. So I'm really curious. I told myself, I'm just going to, I'm not gonna tune into you yet. I'm just gonna be me. Re do the introduction, read your goals, and then I'm gonna tune in. I'm really curious what I'm picking up here. Okay. Again, again. I'm starting to read your goals and I'm tapping into your energy field. <laughs> I actually lit my throat chakra candle. I've been lighting this, like, I, I lit this for extra support. Throat chakra. <laughs> okay, I'm reading the goals. Hi, Abby. <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of processing since our last session, and I think what I'd like to look at next is male-female dynamics. As you know, I lost my daughter, my sister, and my mother in recent years, and am now left with only the family, the male members of my family. very intense to read your goals. I feel like, I feel like I'm going to cry. <sighs> like there's this really massive wave of energy that's just stuck in my heart and it just, it wants to push all the way through, but it just stays here. And I feel really emotional, but the emotion is just staying right here. And it gets jarred in my throat. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's happening again. I will read your goals, okay? <laughs> All right, and I'm now left with only the male members of my family, my son, my brother, and my dad. I've always thought there must be a reason that I'm now surrounded with so much male energy, and I will admit that I'm not comfortable with it. I've experienced abusive relationships in the past, and so I tend to shy away from the male or patriarchal polarity. Having raised my children alone, I've had to work at bringing the male-female energies into balance within myself. It's flowing better now in my throat. But to take it to the next level and be vulnerable and trusting around men in general. <laughs> it's getting jammed in my throat again. <laughs> it's getting jammed in my heart. Okay. Okay. I can do this. But to take it to the next level and be vulnerable and trusting around men in general, or specifically within any coupled relationship, causes me to retreat. I am sure there are others who grapple with this same issue, so I would like to offer this session on YouTube. If my soul twin, Henry, who I met many years ago and who is now a spirit and now in spirit can help, that would be great. Thanks, Abby. <laughs> oh, man. You, you had to have really put so much of your heart and soul into writing this. Because I can feel the, the energy so loud. It's, I even have a slight twitch in my eye. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. I'm going to just start by releasing a lot of the jams that I felt. Just connecting with your, your request. I'm 
I'm just helping you right now release energy from the face and the throat. It's really, really tight. Really tight. Okay. 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 There is so much jam. I mean, it's so jammed. Right now, I'm just, I'm continuing to let this flow and just encourage it to release. So whether I'm talking or I'm making faces and all this stuff, I, I have a part of my spirit self just encouraging the flow, sending love, encouraging the flow, encouraging the release, helping you to feel supported, okay? There's a lot of stress here in the lower back of my neck, um, neck, back of my head, <laughs> like, then even, like, if there's muscles here, right, um, in the back of the head, right by the skull, like, even these have, are tight, okay? And, uh, Tight throat, tight heart. Still working through this, okay? Once I get through this, we can see what's on the other side of all of it. We can start making sense of it. Okay. Okay. We're almost there. There's a lot of turquoise colors coming through. It's pretty. Yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> I actually think I can read this. I need to retap in. I just had to do that. And I told myself, since I've tried to do this intro several upon several times, I'm just going to do it. I don't care how weird it is. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it however weird it wants to be. All right. You're wanting to look at the male-female dynamics. I lost my daughter, my sister, my mother in recent years and now left with only the male members of my family. Still a lot of, still some tension and pressure. My son, my brother, and my dad. I've always thought there must be a reason that I'm now surrounded with so much male energy. And I will admit that I'm not comfortable with it. I've experienced abusive relationships. So I tend to shy away from the male or patriarchal polarity. Having raised my children alone, I've had to work at bringing the male-female energies into balance within myself. But to take it to the next level and be vulnerable and trusting around men in general or specifically within any coupled relationship causes me to retreat. Even me reading this, I it, it's, it's copable. Like, you can hear it. Um, I can read it. I can tune into it. You're okay. You're okay right now with this energetically. Um, th it's so precious that you're choosing to share because there are so many that grapple with this. <sighs> now, I'm see the shaky. <sighs> okay. If my soul twin, Henry, who I met many years ago and who is now in spirit can help, that would be great. I agree. Okay, that feels a lot better. <laughs> we had to do that. Okay, I'm in the zone. I'm ready to go. Okay, still still some vulnerability, but so much better. Let me just clear this out here. It's a little bit lower in the gut. It's making me feel a little shaky. Still some in the throat here. Still some in the heart. It's a little bit of discomfort, but let's clear this out and let's see what's on the other side, okay? Let's go see about Henry. 
Why is there so much pressure on you? Why do you, why do you, it's like all the pressure, you're in the center of all the pressure. And the pressure just keeps putting more pressure on you. But you're putting more pressure on you too. I'm clearing all this out, okay? Ah, that's getting so much better. No more pressure on you. You're okay. You're okay. Let me see if we can move past this now, okay? Oh my god. Just exhaustion. It's exhausting. That's okay. We're just going to feel really exhausted right now. Because you are really exhausted right now. I mean, you are exhausted. You need a really good night's sleep. Like, a good night's sleep that's going to feel like getting your beauty rest every day for like a hundred lifetimes. <laughs> We're going to manifest that. I'm going to create a special energy space where you can get your beauty sleep every single night for a hundred lifetimes or a thousand lifetimes. Like you really need some incredible stress-free night to night to night to night to night. <sighs> One night to the next night to the next night. Wonderful dreams, wonderful sleep, wonderful rest. You're a beautiful person. You're a beautiful person. Let's see if you're ready. so much I'm gonna make it feel a lot lighter because when I introduce you to everything that we're gonna explore in the session um, you feel like it's just so much heaviness and even me moving is like man I didn't realize the, so much tight tight muscles tight energy tight energy stored in every muscle fiber it's like like uh, like so tight Okay, I'm going to help you to experience it as very light, light as air. Everything in your life, you, everybody, every memory, every relationship is light, so light, weightless. And since it's so weightless, there's no pressure. No pressure at all. No pressure and a weightless experience. <sighs> okay, who is who is this? It's, uh, this is going to be a little hard to talk through. It's you. <sighs> it's kind of like facing the, the monster in the mirror. And the reflection of yourself that is the monster side of you, okay? And she is out of control. And does not want this type of lightweight freedom. Otherwise, you'd be living in a lightweight freedom world with plenty of beauty sleep. But you don't because this is the imbalance right here. You with yourself is the major imbalance. But it is quite peculiar. 
all the male versus female actual human people and the transitions and what you've had to juggle. Right now, I'm just facing this part of you and there's a lot of discomfort um, that you feel about it. And I'm just, it's like, it's, it's okay. Like, yeah, let's feel uncomfortable. Like, I don't want to face the monster in the mirror. It's hard. It's, it's really hard. But we're going to do it. And let's just feel totally uncomfortable about it because it feels uncomfortable. <sighs> but all we have to do is just stand here and look at it. Don't run away. Don't ignore it. Let's take a look at it so we can face this. We can heal it. And then we can do the next thing. Okay. <sighs> okay. It's okay. <sighs> okay. You are venting. And it's a female. This monster is a female. And so you're venting how much you hate her and she is you part of who you are she is the pain part of who you are the suffering part of who you are so you hate the suffering right but the suffering is also you so then you hate yourself it's hard to be human just <laughs> but that is what is being said and that is what that actually means okay and i'm still working through your discomfort with it but you're to there's so much unconditional love so much unconditional love. Just be yourself. Just vent. Just say what you need to say. Just be honest. Let's just let it out. Let's just let all this stuff out. No resistance. Oh, God. You hate her. You hate her. All right. That fast, you're already relaxing. Starting to be able to relax and breathe. You just needed to say that. But really, you hate the pain, the female pain. You hate the pain of being a woman. But you also are a woman, and then this monster is a woman, and you hate yourself. It's so that this is kind of what's what this means right now, okay? It's it's totally it can mean that, and that is absolutely fine. It has to mean exactly what it is. And that's exactly the way it needs to be. For this to vent properly, we just need to let it just be as surreal, sincere, and just let it be like this. It feels like a mess. <laughs> but it's, a, it's great. We're doing a really great job here. You're saying, you're speaking another language, and you are saying your feelings, your personal opinion of this monster. And it, it's interesting sounding. Um, it sounds like uh, a breeze. It's kind of pretty. It makes me think of ocean breezes. Um, it has uh, like shells that are clanking together. But it's every cuss word in the universe that is coming through this like very beautiful, um, I don't know, fluid sound of the ocean breeze. And it's every cuss word like you straight up are. You're just getting it all out. It's super pretty, though. It's like, it's like, wow, you're really saying all this stuff. But wow, it's so pretty sounding. But you're really saying all this stuff. But you're getting it out. And you're feeling so much better now. I'm so glad you did that. You're starting to not hate her. Starting to not hate yourself. So much to be proud of in you. I mean, you have so much to be proud of. You can be proud of yourself. You can be proud of yourself. Okay, now this is the next uh, interaction here with this. You feel a lot better. Um, this monster is um, now attacking and wanting to bite your head off. So it's like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's pure white Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, but it has what would be defined as your face on it with really sharp teeth. So I, so we have to be both sides of the story. So now we're going to let this monster side of you have her venting experience and we're just going to receive it. 
it's not going to hurt you at all. It's actually going to heal you. Because we're not, we're going to not judge her. We're going to let her vent. I'm starting to get really shaky about this. <sighs> because there's just so much hurt. So much hurt. Unresolved hurt in you. <sighs> it's like... Oh. Okay, that's better. She's not biting your head off. She can't seem to bite through your neck to bite your head off. And she's kind of gagging on your head because she can't bite your head off. And now her throat's getting really small. So she, even if she could, she can't swallow it. And now she's choking on your head. She's choking on her own head. She is consuming herself. Unresolved pain is inspiring her to consume herself. Okay, there's another version of you here, and she's in very enormous energy. And I see the two of you... Um, kind of like fighting sisters in a way. Um, and her energy is like Glenda the Good Witch, but very ferocious, fierce energy. Like, um, wanting to snap you two into, um, like, wake you two up and stop fighting each other. But you're doing this inside yourself, okay? So who is she? What is, is she, who does she represent? She's another aspect of you. She has a motherly persona. She has a Glenda the Good Witch persona, but she's really intense, so she's like a hurricane. Glenda the Good Witch plus hurricane equals this <laughs> um, energy. And I start to see this weird monster you and this other you. Like, it just seems like a ridiculous coral, like... Like, what is most important here? Coming from this part of you's perspective. This internal battle has to stop. It's a waste of time kind of thing. Like, that's the only way I could describe the energy. This mother, Glenda the Good Witch... Perceive the, perceives these two sisters, you and this other part of yourself, as wasting time fighting with yourself. She's very influential. Putting her foot down, and I feel the ground shake. But I'm kind of asking her, what's her solution? Because really, they're venting out unresolved emotion... And that always is a solution. What is your solution? She is right. The internal battle does need to stop. You will never talk back to this side of you. It's like cussing every cuss word in the universe at your own mother. You would never do that. And neither would this sister self. Not in a bajillion years. There's just an odd awkwardness about the two of you standing side by side looking at her. With the utmost respect for her opinion and her viewpoint. But I'm seeing this from my own viewpoint, and I see that this energy is, it all needs to shatter. All of it does. It has to all be let go of. All of this energy has got to shatter. And we need to start fresh. Is this letting go, then, of... Um, the female figures in your life, the beautiful women um, that have passed away. 
this is kind of a harsh, um, um, I see this vibrationally is you working through the internal battle is what this represents, but it can have parallel meaning because I can tell that this all has to be let go of and it does have overlays of you letting go of the, the women that have passed away. Um, actually um, honoring their divine time to transition, to trust in that and to fill your heart full of love and light um, about those choices. Because you're feeling alone. <laughs> Okay. You know what? You have incredible relationship with emotions and feelings and how you translate life. And it's really special, actually, but it's very sensitive. And that's actually a gift. Once you learn how to work with that gift, otherwise it can... Um, become a lot <laughs> become a lot <sighs> I'm still working on this is all venting it's all venting all of this pent up energy out venting <sighs> I am going to make sure you get a good night's sleep and get your beauty's rest <laughs> alright we haven't gotten to the male energies yet but this has to be looked at <sighs> Okay, again, another female version of yourself and she, is this why you, you struggle with the male energy? Because the female you has been put through so much by male energy and it looks like this and it's all this energy that you're venting out, all this emotion. That's why we're working on the female side and because we have to heal the female side. <laughs> we have to heal it. Is it really the monster? Well, it's been harmed. Uh, anything that gets harmed becomes weird. It becomes uh, screaming in pain, under pressure. Um, it's in suffering. It transforms. It becomes the challenge. It becomes the wound. Okay, you needed to hear that. You're feeling a lot better. You're starting to understand now why it's like this. I can't get to Henry yet because all of this is in the way and this has to be resolved. <sighs> Sorry to get shaky again. It's in my solar plexus and my sacral chakra, um, my heart. I'm just like, it's just like shaky. Um, it's just all this unresolved emotion. It could just make you shake. <sighs> um, it also makes me think of labor pain. And when... <laughs> It's like <laughs> again releasing we're releasing a lot I mean this is totally on the level of labor pain helping you to release all this you do not need this anymore all this energy beautiful beautiful difficult energy right it's okay to let this energy go so you can be light as air and you can feel breathable, feel balanced, right? And yeah, totally need to balance male-female sides. First, we got to heal the female side. Oh, wow. Incredible. Like, it's incredible that you... You're a human being with all of this going on and your energy filled. It's incredible that you can do it. 
it's a it's it would be so hard <laughs> it would be so hard to try to get through each and every day with all that okay i'm just gonna keep working through i'm gonna see if if you're ready to just just relax with me for a little bit let's just take a little break <sighs> it's starting to happen again i'm starting to get really shaky this time it's like my my legs and at my hips, um, sacral root chakra, um, really feel anxiety and afraid, um, starting to in my throat and my face behind me. Um, I feel really mad. I hate evil spirits. I hate dark entities. I hate corruption i hate manipulation i hate it and i'm afraid of it and i've been hurt by it <sighs> your soul has got so much release in here <sighs> a lot of pain oh a lot of pain you've been through you're ready to let go of it otherwise i wouldn't be able to access it all like this you are not holding back. You are ready. <sighs> okay, hold on. <laughs> you just want it all to stop. You just want it all to go away. <sighs> and you're cursing again. Every swear word in the book in the universe. Like <laughs> It doesn't sound like a pretty ocean breeze this time. It's a little more muddy. <sighs> <sighs> this has to do with sacral root chakra quite substantially. <laughs> You actually do, you actually do love male energy so much. You actually do. And I finally can feel that. <laughs> Hold on, I'm starting to get shaky again. <sighs> it's again in my legs. It's got to do with the root. It's really in the root, big time in the root. <sighs> it's a lot of pain in here, a lot of pain. Ah, whew, that was quick. Okay, hold on, there's a male energy here. Super loving, super nice. Very, it's not Palladian, but feels really gentle, very ocean energy-like um, vibe, and very gentle, um, like a dream come true. <laughs> Um, as far as the way he understands the female energy, the female needs, the female body, the female soul even. Like he is so gentle to the woman, okay? Um, he is so tender and it's almost like he, um, he serves the needs of the woman um, as the needs of himself, so um, his joy comes from the pleasured, the woman who is pleasured <laughs> is then his greatest pleasure. So he is here to meet the needs of the woman, then to meet her needs is then meets his needs, okay? <laughs> it's like the secret is revealed for all of you men. <laughs> but he does it in a way that's just so gentle. There's nothing sexual going on here. He's just like a straight up great guy. <laughs> He's awesome. He's so great. <laughs> He's great. He's great. He hasn't even said anything. He's just smiling and waiting for me to speak first, apparently. <laughs> I'm not used to that. <laughs> Uh, it's like he's res respectful to such a degree that he won't um, interrupt my energetic experience until I'm ready to speak. He won't speak. <laughs> it's so weird. 
Oh, he's but he's great. I'm telling you, he's he's actually purely loving, just generating pure love, and and it is his greatest joy to be patient. <laughs> it's so surreal. Okay, he's very tan. He has a light brown hair. Okay, he has a really genuine, loving smile. I see the ocean behind him. So what's interesting is you're familiar with who this is and you let your guard down. And now um, there were no words spoken. It was an energetic communication. And now he's um, just wrapping his love around you. He isn't even moving. He's not touching you or speaking. He's just wrapping his love around you. He's uh, singing a song to you. <laughs> And it's his own version of the sound of the ocean wind. It's a very loving song. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's the sound of um, happy puppy dogs. And it doesn't sound like barking at all. It's more like a cooing noise. And he's singing to you. And he's so happy. But it's so genuine and it's very... Um, it's gentle and <sighs> you're relaxing. You're letting your guard down because the truth is you love the male energy so much. It's just you have so many memories of as being um, a woman in 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 a deep um, value. And respect of your being on a level that is not a familiar level here on our planet and so you understand the degradation of the woman energy here um, and it is extremely painful to you because you know of it um, and how it can be so loved and nurtured from so many different places so many different uh, memories um, and you miss that. <clears throat> and it's been so painful here. I mean, it's like being electrocuted every day of your life um, to put up with this bullshit. I mean, you're the one cussing. I just, <laughs> I just said a little bit of a cuss word. <laughs> it's not like your ocean breezes or anything. <laughs> but yes. That's how you, that's how you feel. You feel like this world is so full of BS. <laughs> and this is what normal is. This ocean man and his cooing sounds and his patience and his enveloping you with his love without, just, he just knows. He just understood what your needs were. And he didn't even, you didn't even say anything. He just felt your soul move and he knew exactly what to do. Because he's so tuned into um, the harmony of soul communication. Is the human race tuned into the harmony of soul communication? <laughs> That's why it's hard here. But I, I, Abby, accept that. This is a work in progress. So I'm not going to take offense to this work in progress. And I don't need it to be the way it's been in all these other lifetimes for it to be good enough for me. Because I can appreciate it being difficult. Because for some reason my soul likes that. <laughs> Try not to take offense to the human race if you can. <sighs> <laughs> a lot of unresolved emotion here. <laughs> it's so hard. You're really, really doing an incredible job expressing your soul. That was amazing. Let's just, let's just clear that one out. 
uh, it still hurts a lot. It still hurts a lot. In your heart, in your solar plexus, in your throat, hurts a lot. The sacral chakra hurts a lot. I mean, it's just like rolling you around in glass shards day after day after day after day. I gotta do something here. Because life can suck, but it doesn't have to feel that that harsh unless you really want to feel it hurting you. But it's kind of... It's almost like you are so open to the full experience that you will just let it, yourself feel it to the, the microscopic f fibers of emotion and feeling, which is very, very hard <laughs> to live a sustainable life, physical life here like that. It's like you're bringing the blueprint, the imprint of being completely open from so many lives where everything was psychic communication, everything was love communication, everything was in the harmony of the universe. And you come here in this jacked up world with every cuss word, you just, how can it be so terrible? Like, but you let yourself feel it. I mean, you let yourself feel every tiny little thread here. Every tiniest trillionth of a little tiniest little thread of the way that it feels truly when you are this open. So that's kind of cool, isn't it? Because I don't do that. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I need sustainability. I don't need to lose my freaking mind. <laughs> um, but the fact that you're going to be that open is pretty incredible. But you, you're going to have to learn how to transmute. Well, if you're going to be that open, you're going to have to learn how to transmute that. Otherwise, that's just, that is hard every day. You're hearing me. I mean, we're literally just talking, just, just sharing ideas. All right, you're showing me a, a place that you hate, a really bad memory of yours. Um, and you cannot forgive this one, okay? And it's just you, and I don't know how this happened, but you got pulled into another dimension, and you're surrounded by vampires. Male vampires. And you're forever. <laughs> so they're feeding off of you forever. Draining the life right out of you forever. Because you're an infinite soul, so you're the Energizer Bunny. But you feel drained. You'll feel, especially if you give in to this, you will always feel like you'll feel you could even die from it. That's kind of what it's like. But then never dying. It's terrible. Um, you, 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 it's not, you're not to blame though for this is kind of what you're saying. But you actually are. You put yourself in here. To, to, why did you do it? I need you to just stop with me for a minute. We're going to choose sustainability. And the energy is just solidity, okay? We love and respect the way the world is, the energetic realms, the human experience, the process. We can still be incredible, loving beings. Okay, this, this is shaking is starting to come back. Um, it's in the legs, it's in the sacral, it's in the solar plexus. Okay, screaming. <laughs> okay. Let's just see how we're doing. <laughs> I am so proud of you, by the way. Like, you are opening up here. This is a... This, your soul is so open to healing today. I don't usually get to access this much energy. It's incredible. This doesn't hurt me. I'm just transmuting what's your pain, okay? Ah. <laughs> 
Okay, something, again, it's another tremor of some kind. <sighs> it's in the stomach, okay? <sighs> to stomach and the heart. <sighs> I'm, I'm literally going to, I'm going to let you, we're just, we need to get solid here at some point. We're going to keep releasing, but let's get, let's just get grounded for a minute here. We're, we need to just get grounded here for a minute. Because I'm a human being. You're a human being. Like, like literally, I can't sustain this. Day after day after day. My soul can. I, Abby, can't do it. <laughs> you can't do it. Nobody, no freaking human can do it. You know, once I can run the marathon, um, a marathon, a marathon, a marathon, a marathon, never stop running. I'll just keep running forever. I'll never have to sleep. I don't even have to eat. Um, you know, then I'm not really human anymore. So I have to acknowledge I'm a human being. I have to eat. I have to sleep. That's as best as I know. I need to rehabilitate. I feel tired after a while. You know, I need to sit down. So you're going to have to honor the human too. Because you, you, you have to honor the human. And we, let's get solid. Man, you got more. But we're not going to do that right now. It's in the back of your head. It's right behind the left eye. Um, the back of the head. And it's getting very shaky again. Um, around the throat and the back of the neck. I gotta make sure that you're able to sustain this healing. Because I've released so much out of you. I don't want to make you sick. Because <laughs> energy healing can actually exhaust the physical body. To the point that it could make you sick. And so I can tell that this is a lot of release, more than I do for the everyday human. <laughs> I mean, for a lot of the everyday human. Even for myself, okay? Okay, you're coming back. You're kind of... You really want to do this one. You really need to do it, okay? Okay, just a minute. Posture, feet, air, time, human, I feel human, you feel human, all right, okay, this is pretty dark, by the way, there's nothing else to be said about that vampire place because I just see it full of like insane light and that's done, okay? Let me, let me just watch it for a little bit longer. I want to make sure what's going on in here. I am taking what what is your, the spirit of yourself. Uh, these vampires are the so-called perfect man. <laughs> this is funny, okay? This is funny. Apparently, the perfect man looks like Data from Star Trek. <laughs> That's awesome! Data's a great guy! I like Data. Okay. They all look like Data, but they turned out to be vampires. It's horrible! Alright. And I'm taking the spirit of yourself, and I'm. You have to let go of this. They are done. With you, you have to let go. You have to let go. Man, this is really making me shake again, but I'm gonna, I'm not. We're gonna stay solid on this. Let go. <laughs> let go. They, they, they were vampires. You really wish that one of them could be the data of your dreams. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. Man. <sighs> it's 
still working on letting it go, okay? Because you're just, you, you feel so defiled. Like, your womanhood, what women stand for in the universe and other places, the goddess energy, the respect that the women receive from the divine masculine is so beautiful and wonderful. And it was, like, degrading. It was degrading and it was lying and manipulative and wrong disturbing and it took from you it energetically took your life force energy there's nothing more vile degrading of your sacred soul than that and you can't freaking forgive this and you will be the punisher somewhere in time you will teach them. No, 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 no. That right there is a trap. And now we have the human race where everybody needs to learn their lesson forever. And now all we have are punishers. Even, even the best of souls become punishers. To teach those terrible other souls who just freaking lost themselves in the dark. Nobody needs punished. We just need the light. That's it. And you need to just be your light and let them go. Let all that go. They aren't worth it. <laughs> let God handle that, okay? You can't let it go. And you won't let it go. Like, you're like, and I won't let it go. I'm showing you that wonderful, kind ocean man. I say this is where you need to put your energy. You're having such a hard time with this. And I'm, and you're like, and you're right, like, you agree. Putting your energy towards this love is way better use of your energy than putting it towards being the punisher for these messed up vampire men. <laughs> they sucked. That was a joke. <laughs> okay. throat <laughs> throat come to life throat come back <sighs> i'm gonna ask you if you will let go now if are you ready to let go now i'm gonna ask you that you say you asked me to help you um, change the way that you are connecting with energy from spending too much time in the negative and shifting to spending too much time in the positive, so to speak, but it's enriching. Like, how do I tune into sharing my energy with and receiving from enrichment? Then getting wound up and attached to the vampires. <laughs> you want to invest your time and energy into the enrichment. And I say that's all you have to do is just choose that and then learn how to do it. Because there's a, there's a lot on your soul timeline, the soul pathway that you're going to and be transmuting in the process of shifting away from the way that you have done it to now this new way of doing things. Nothing just happens overnight. It may happen overnight and then has to be revisited. And now things take a long time. Like it's all part of a learning process. It's, it's a process. But you are already choosing it, which tells me that you're already starting that process, okay? You have... Still more to vent 
But really what I'm doing here is just helping you to shift gears vibrationally, really tune into enrichment, okay? Enrichment. So important. I'm giving you a hug. Because you really, really need a hug. I still see it's very difficult um, with the male energies. I have to work on healing the female side first. That's, that is what they're revealing to me. Um, right now, I'm looking at the male energy, so we could maybe do a quick something there. Um, obviously, we did with the vampires, but all I can do now is just hug you, okay? Let's just keep healing all this. That does need to be looked at, though, still. Because there's just unresolved disappointment. It's not a failure on your part at all. <laughs> not a failure on your part at all. I'm helping you to feel that you're not a failure. And um, what feels like the disappointment um, from the male side of these energies, I'm literally disconnecting you and pulling your energy back to yourself, okay? Pulling it back to yourself. Because you don't have anything to prove. You don't have to become any better to make everybody happier. Bringing the energy back to you. Allowing you to feel the love. Nothing you gotta prove. Sustainability, it's very important. You feel a lot more collected, grounded, in tune with your human self. A lot was healed here today. I'm helping you to feel like you're back in your body and your body is a beautiful place to be. A beautiful garden of Eden. It feels wonderful to be in your body. Your body is a beautiful sanctuary. Really amplifying that truth. So you can feel it in your own skin. Yes, that's better. You need to kind of reminisce in like the goddess energy where you hold your head up, where you are a certain radiance of strength and wisdom and love that only the goddess energy truly knows as its own identity as the gift to the male energy. <sighs> Feels like you're remembering yourself. <sighs> and don't throw yourself away. Even if you've been thrown away in your life, you don't throw yourself away. Okay? All right, <laughs> that's all I can share. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much for this amazing opportunity to connect with you. Thank you for sharing. I know this is going to purge out so much collective suffering that males and females both go through here on this planet. Males understand this stuff too. 
And males are loving beings, beautiful, loving beings. And it's okay to say that out loud. Divine Masculine is a beautiful presence in my life. Take strength, but it will start an incredible healing process for you as well. <sighs> Just coming back into my body here. Mm. I'm still coming back into my body here. <sighs> mm. Okay. Thank you again so much. And for those watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. I also have two other YouTube channels. One is Abby Normal. The other is Zodiac Energy Reading. So check me out there. And I'm also on Patreon. If you're interested in joining my Patreon community, you can do so at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. Have an amazing day, everybody.